Hey everybody, in this video on MPLS Layer 3 VPNs, we are going to continue troubleshooting. So the one thing I was looking at was we weren't seeing any routes on P4. So here's P4. P4 is right here. It's connected to switch 200 down here in the green. And we weren't seeing the routes coming in because we were doing trying to redistribute OSPF. Uh, so I, I switched it up, and we're now seeing routes show IP route. Well, actually, let's see. Show run section EIGRP. That's what we'll look at. So we're redistributing connected. So that's that's going to allow us. We're just going to do the connected ones connected. So show IP route VRF customer one. We're not really running. OSPF is running across here over into this purple area. So I'm not sure why the routes weren't coming in from OSPF, because if we do show show IP OSPF, and I can look forward into that into that more. Show uh, let's try that again. Show IP route OSPF. You can see there are routes here. There's no real local routes though. Yeah, let me show IP route. So all the connected routes are really, this is the 10, 10, 200, everything down here. So that's the really important one. Uh, 10, 10, 200, that's the, that's the route that's the most important or what we're doing here. That's what we want to be able to communicate over here to this 10180. So that's what was going on. And now if we look, show IP route, uh, VRF on P4, VRF cost one, we see these routes, these external routes. So that's, that's what we wanted to see. Okay, so our next step is now to do the distribution, the redistribution between BGP and the EIGRP on these PE routers. So that's gonna be our, our next step. And I'd also like to remind you if to please subscribe to my channel, I'd appreciate that if you can, so thanks. Okay, so let's get this Let's do this on P3. So P3, let's open that up. Enable. Okay, control shift six, control shift six, X. Come on. Let's try to kill that. All right. There we go. So enable, and we're gonna go into config mode here and show, let's do a do, show IP protocols. Here you can see OSPF1 is running, BGP and EIGRP. So we're running all of these. So we're gonna redistribute between BGP and EIGRP. And let's just show run section EIGRP. Uh, do show run section EIGRP. All right, so let's let's get down to this. Let's do we're going to redistribute EIGRP into BGP first. So let's do that. So we're going to go into Router, BGP, 64600. And okay, we're in there. Now we wanna go into address family, IPv4, VRF, cust one. And what we wanna do is redistribute EIGRP then I think what we want to do is the autonomous system, which is 10. 
So 10 is what's running. So hit that. Okay. It should be, that should be good. Exit. Uh, do show route. Do show IP route BRF must one. Let's see what we see there. So that's okay. That's fine. Show IP BGP. Do show IP BGP. Okay, I don't see anything for that. BGP. All right, so let's uh, let's do the other side. So we're going to go into router EIGRP, and this should be customer. Let me see, what did I name that? I can't remember now. Let's go back up. So router EIGRP customers. And we want to go into the address family, address family, IPv4, VRF, cust1, autonomous system 10. And then we go into the topology base for redistribution. And we're going to redistribute BGP 64. 600. Okay. And there. So that's P3. Uh, show IP BGP neighbors. Let's make sure everything looks good. Show IP BGP summary. Okay, so you can see no prefixes are going through. Okay, that's fine. That should be fine right now. Now we're gonna do it on P4. So let's do that same thing. So let's go into router. Router BGP 64600. Address family, IPv4, VRF, cust1, redistribute, EIGRP, 10. Exit, exit, and router, EIGRP, customers. And this is address family IPv4, VRF, cust1, autonomous system, N. And we're going to go into topology base and redistribute BGP 64600. Okay. Go IP route. BRF cust one. All right, so let's see what we're seeing here. So here, okay. So now let's let's take a look at this. So this is P four. So P four is right here, and we are getting. You see that ten, one eighty, which is the subnet over here and that's coming in through bgp and we're also seeing 10 10 200 which is coming in here through eigrp so this that looks good so we're seeing across this vrf let's now uh let's jump down to one of these let's either switch 400 let's see or switch 200 Okay, show IP route. Let's see what we're seeing here. 
So this is switch 200, which is down here. And we should be able to see the 10180 network. There is the 10180 network. So that's that's looking good. I like that. So let's enable here show IP route. And over here we see the 101010200 network. And that's going to go via 18039. So you see that? It's being sent over to dot three. So it knows and it's getting that route right there. So this, now let's test this. Let's test that we're going over MPLS. Um, what we're gonna do is, let's open up one of these. Let's see what we got here. So we've got DC01, let's open that up. And see what the IP is of this. Uh, let's do an on-screen keyboard. Let's do Control Alt Delete, and then we'll open it back up. Okay, so we are ten one eighty ten one hundred. So let's go over to this PC. I know this is a good one. This is a good test PC. Okay, so let's go into root. And let's do an IP adder. Let's see what the IP address of this is. This is 1010200.10. So we're going to ping 10.180.10. Dot 100. And there you go. And let's confirm that this is going over. Control C. So let's do a trace route. Trace route to 10.180.10.100. Let's see. So it goes, yep, there you see it. So it's traversing the MPLS network. And if we do a trace route, so should we be able to, let's see this. If we go back to P4, or P, yeah, P4, and do a trace route, 10.10. Ten or 10, 180 dot 10. Dot 100. Let's see if we can do this. Let's see what happens. Okay, it's taking a little bit of time here. Yeah, I don't know if this this may not work. I we may have to source it from. Yeah, this probably would not work. But. Right now, what we're doing is we are label switching. We're, so we're using MPLS. So let's, let's do this. Let me stop that. Okay. Let's bring back this PC. Let's get a ping going across this 10180.10. Yep, okay. So that is hitting DC01 DC on the other side. So this is all going over MPLS. Let's see if we can see anything in here. Let's do a capture of E02. That's where we should see something going on. I think this will be interesting, potentially. 
Okay. So can we see MPLS? And there you go, right here. Look at that. MPLS, we're seeing that here. So it's label switching these through this MPLS layer three VPN. So that is the configuration of an MPLS VPN. And so what, what we could do is we could, so right now we're just going, let me just minimize some of this. I'm gonna stop this ping. We are going from just this one customer up to here to this other to the same customer so this is all just one we could add other branches we could add it on the same router if we wanted to but we could have another another customer even so we we created remember two vrfs now we could have hundreds of vrfs and we can create multiple customers and the only thing that they, they would keep their, they could route over this using whatever protocol they want. We're using right now EIGRP, but you could actually use OSPF or any, any other protocol really to connect in and advertise your routes over to the other side. So the MPLS layer three VPN is pretty powerful. It's pretty good to understand how it's working in the service provider and just on the customer end how we're we're going to send everything over there to that how we're going to advertise our routes into the service provider and it goes across using bgp communities so pretty interesting stuff i'd like to thank you i appreciate it please subscribe and uh, please keep watching more videos. Thanks.